right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pets and animals and everyone, hello and welcome. I'm Terhi Koskinen from Finland and guesting today here on Artists Live Ustream channel. Uh, I'm making a mixed media box um, in blue tones for my daughter and I hope you enjoy my techniques and tricks. I hope you learn something new and enjoy the ride. All right, I'm turning the camera now to down and we shall start. So here's the box I did for sample. Hi Nupur. Um, I asked my younger one if she likes, likes to have some gold or yellow box as she always does, but no, no, they, um, she wanted blue one and, okay, I, I shouldn't look that chat over there, let's start. So, uh, this is wooden box from 13 Arts store. It's quite thick wood um, and, well, you can do anything with it, but it looks now quite boring. So, um, it's plain wood, so it needs some kind of surface to use wet mediums and colors and mixed, um, mixed media on it. Yes, that um, box I did before was teal, blue, turquoise, something like that. I mixed a lot of colors, as I will do, do with this one. But first, let's um, cover it up. This is 13 Arts Gesso, Gesso, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is white. Uh, not liquid, thick. <laughs> My words are missing today. So I'm making more liquid. Taking some here to my palette. And some water. My medicine thing. <laughs> what is it called? Rika can tell. Adding some water and mixing it up. It's like some mm, warm butter, butter, something like that. I make it mm, quite liquid as I'm going to use it several layers. Uh, there's also black gesso in 13 Arts store, so you can use that if you prefer black things but as you saw my living room all things in my home are white or something light okay i hope that's enough i usually do either too much or too less never the right amount of anything uh, I maybe should chisel this um, bottom, but maybe I start with that. So, how's all your week has been? I I so enjoy these Monday evenings with these little chats and uh, seeing people online. It's like going to cafe with <laughs> with some friend even though I don't see you but you can hear me and I like to talk so I'm just taking my time to make a little uh, quite thin layer I want the wood pattern to show up even though this is the bottom so you don't see that much hopefully um, then the edges. I'm taking a little piece of plastic to cover my table. 
Um, not that I, I would be afraid of taking gesso to my work table, but it's good use of those plastic bags you have from your shopping and everything. I don't like to put things away without recycling them. Just enough like that. This gesso is nice because it's now quite thin and it dries so quickly. I think I don't need to use much of heat gun. Let's see. I'm so excited to get those mists to my hand so soon. There's something so pleasing with coloring and painting and everything. Okay, there's a thin layer of gesso now. Like, no, <laughs> oops. Almost forgot the most important thing. Well, never mind. Let's do this quickly. You can... Hey, Tanja! My, my best friend from Finland, who is not crafter, um, is now online because I made her to come. So, hello, Tanja! And thank you for coming in. That's a real friendship to hear your friend, even when she's talking something you don't, you are not interested in. So, here's it now. Okay, Marta is there giving some tips about using gesso, but uh, I will read it now. I will use my <laughs> hardware store heat gun. This is like the most powerful thing on earth. So I will be keeping my mouth shut for a while. Okay, that was quick. You should always buy your heat guns from hardware store so you can get powerful things. Okay. So, now I used that gesso to make it liquid. But I also want to use the gesso to make it more thick. I'm taking again a piece of plastic. And... Some gesso here, and our lovely, lovely magic power from 13 Us. This is powder. Uh, Ida used it in her show, show too a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm taking some and mixing it with gesso. You can also um, choose using modeling paste, but I just want you to see how much you can do with the same product product with um, just mixing it up. Using a plastic is a good idea because you can now need to mix it all. Just put it like this and no need for a big amount of this. I'm using it through a stencil. See, it came like this very thick, 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 thick thing. I hope I don't put that spoon to my mouth as I think this wouldn't taste so good. Okay, my table is full of 
already. So this box opens here and I'm using my stencil. This is a stencil from 13 Arts uh, Fly Away collection, if I remember right. Uh, there's a, a butterfly and some text, but I don't use that text as a text, but as a texture. And taking some paste. This is now a paste. It's not, as you see, it sticks to my palette knife. And just putting some here randomly. I love the uh, sharp edges the text makes. And just a little more, more here. It's so thick that you can now take it off if you put it too much or something. I think I will put some over here too. Aha! And it's done. Taking a baby wipe. As I said just a min few minutes ago, I always do too much or too less of mixtures, just like this one. Well, what should I do now? Another layout or? Hmm. I let it be there. Okay, now I need to try again. So, just a minute. Just a tiny minute. about recycling things, I thought to recycle a little more. You know these wooden pieces you get from uh, canvases? To put behind the canvas to, um, so the canvas will stay whatever the word is. Anyway, these wooden pieces, I will cut some half. It doesn't go straight, but I don't mind. Some, 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 some. My voice is going to end, but I hope it, I can talk for 45 minutes more. Okay, this one wasn't that good. Could I have a glass of water, please? And I'm not saying that. Well, okay, that's good. And I also have some chipboards. Chip blah blah blah. Chipboards from. <laughs> from Polish manufacturer Yushinanga, Yushinanga, whatever you call it. Um, and then I have some sewing thread, as my every, every single creation has. And I'm taking some now. Okay, my dear husband just gave me a glass of water, so Wait a second, I will drink and I will clear my voice. Okay, so I put some thread over here. Uh, never mind, you don't need to uh, set it as like... You don't need to set it at all. Uh, then I'm taking gel medium 
from Verdin Art. I could also use any glue, but I'm preferring gel medium as I can move things around with gel medium. And I'm using it with my <laughs> almost brush. It was a brush. And now it's just something what looks like a brush, but it can be used this time. Okay, so, so some gel and putting it here. I usually stand when I work and now I'm sitting, so this view is quite weird. Do you sit or do you stand? I know I know Rika is always standing. When we work together, she's always standing. Or sometimes she starts sitting and then suddenly she had work quite a lot of time. But she is standing. Okay, so I'm sticking these wooden pieces randomly here and then. Um, to make a composition. I don't even... Well, the shafts are going different directions, so I don't want every one to go this way or that way. Just some random, random things to here and there. I love these geometrical looking things, but lots of textures and little details like on this stencil. And then these chipboards. These are cute too. Some word chippies would work well on this one. Okay. Joey just told she's too lazy to stand. Well, Joey, it would be good work out. Didn't see any other answers. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some more. This is another thing I love with gel medium. You can always create again and again put more and more. Maybe no. This one needs to go down. And now it needs more gel. I could take some hours to do this, but I need to be quite quick. You don't like to watch me <laughs> just gluing things down for an hour. Um, I don't even actually remember who's... Eh, Rika is here next week, right? Rika is doing some canvas. Did I remember right? She can write it down. Okay. So here's wooden pieces, chipboards, and some thread. Now we need something more on it. And that more is cleaning my fingers first. But that more is um, on the top of it will come this flower. But I want something else too. I want different kind of surface like this wood, this thread, this paper flower, but some cloth. This is cheese cloth from a pharmacy. Oh. 
Okei, meidän pitää ottaa Tania. <laughs> What's some other Tania? Well, anyway. Hei Tania säily, it's nice to hear, hear you and see you here. So I'm putting this cloud over here. Just randomly. No need to stick it down as there is some gel medium um, underneath it. So it just sticks there. As you see, it won't fell off. That thread will, but I don't mind. So next I have some of these uh, metal clocks. These are from Scrapberries. Uh, also available in 13 Arts store. Again, some gel medium. Never have too small amount of gel medium. Just here. Now that there's that cloth, cheese cloth, you need to use more gel. It kind of mm, sucks it. <laughs> What's the word? It takes the moisture of the gel medium um, underneath the cloth. So you need to put some more to get these metal things to stuck there. And I want to have this big flower here. Um, I think I don't put that just yet there. I want to Try it a little bit and there put some gesso on it. So just take a minute, take a deep breath or another cup of coffee. I will be here talking soon again, just trying things down. Okay, so I'm taking again my liquid gesso and giving another small layer, thin layer. By the way, about last week when Karen and Rika, uh, last week when Rika and Karen did some ATC cards, I'm planning to do some of my own. I also joined a group uh, Karen did of exchanging the ACC cards. So What's the word? I, um, all my words are missing today. Should I sleep someday? Okay, anyway, I was meant to say that um, watch out your mailman. You might be having some of my cards sometime soon, hopefully. Just a thin layer of chisel. Um, for making a surface for these wooden pieces, but also to create a di different kind of textures again. As you see, um, you might not see this. I tried to lift this up. Okay. So if you see there underneath this cheese cloth, is a chipboard without gesso, so it will take the colors differently than the chippers and the wooden pieces with the gesso. Get the point? Yeah. Okay. Some here. And now the flowers. Again, my table is way too messy. 
So I'm taking first a big flower with lots of gel medium and stacking it here. There's my hair too, but it creates another great texture, right? Thin Scandinavian hair. <laughs> and some more. It's always nice to hear that someone is laughing for her own jokes, right? Okay, some more flowers here. Just putting it there and another one to other side. This gel is like some yogurt. Voila! It's perfect. Some paper roses. I'm using the metal thing. What's parsi in English? Anyway, I'm using it all. Don't cut it out to create even more and more textures. It's all about textures. Did you know that? Okay, Nupur is there thanking for caring for something. What was it? So you probably talking about the group that I talked about. So this composition is almost done. Some roses, some, some everything. And now it needs only this metal heart. This is also from Scrapberries. It's tiny, it's cute. And I will put it just the way it was in this other box I did. It's almost the same. Thank you, Rika, for letting me know it was the AC, ADC, 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 group. Okay. I'm kind of repeating myself with saying putting a lot of gel medium, but it's just, it's just what I do. So, maybe even some more to make it really stick. It takes hours to try completely, so I'm taking a risk and hoping it will stay like that when I'm coloring it in a minute. Trying again. Just a wait minute. Just a little minute. This metal thing is quite, quite hot right now. Uh, Rika, you asked about 13 Arts break. Yes, there is a summer break. No, the company is not <laughs> shutting down. It's just, uh, if I remember right, it was until the end of July. So, uh, if you want to search and buy some 13 Arts products, just wait until we are back in August, or Ida is back. I don't mean me. <laughs> I'm always here. Okay, 
So uh, it's almost dry, at least it's very, very hot. So it's time to make some colors. And again, I'm doing something to recycle things. You know these plastic bags you get your scrapbook papers in. Uh, huge plastic bags. Uh, I'm kind of um, cheap version. No, not cheap, the other word. Anyway, I don't want to miss any colors, so I'm doing every coloring on top of this kind of plastic to... Well, you see in a minute. Uh, I'm using one mist puddle. This is... The, all these mists are from the Dean Arts. Uh, one puddle was black, but now it's pure water. Never throw a puddle away. Uh, so that was just water. There's chalk blue light and pearl turquoise light. And I added some indigo blue just a minute ago. If I prefer to have some darker areas. But I'm starting with the blue one. Please cross your fingers that this gel medium is dry enough. Just putting some color. Okay, there was water. Like that. It kind of, um, what's the word? Spreads all over. And now I add some water to spread it even more. Already those um, paste text words are looking so good. Okay, I'm adding one drop of darker. Even though my dear little daughter won't like it, but I like it. Mommy's word is the right word. No. That was a joke. Again, so this uh, metal harp thing isn't taking that color, color so much as these clocks where I put the gesso on. Um, now, I'm, when the color of this mist is uh, all wet, I'm taking a glitter from the Odin Arts, pure glitter. See how shiny it is? I'm just spreading it here. Some. This will be some princess box. Or prince, as it's blue. Or teal. Or turquoise. Okay, some more misting around here. The mist will kind of... Uh, Glue the glitter down, but when I drop it, see this. Ah, this is so beautiful. I'm just adding some to spread the color. I should have some uh, 3D camera <laughs> so that you could see how it goes here, but because I don't want to um, turn it all over. Okay, some more color here, and then I'm going to show you why I did have that plastic around there. But you already guess it, I think. I'm just See, there's lots of color here, and I have some gessoed cardstocks here, and I'm baking this plastic. Ta -ta 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 -ta. And 
making a beautiful background. Voila, that's it. And as I still have color here, I have another beautiful white cardstock and some colors are here. And now you can stamp and uh, do some stencil work and things like that and you have unique scrap book page. And now you can draw this away if you don't use it for storage or uh, traveling or something. Okay, now I need to uh, try this a little. These are baby wipes. I use it to clean my hands. Um, I'm going to try it a little more. Just a second again. Okay, Marta was talking about colorless gloss there, which was on my product list also. And that was good to have Marta here today because I forgot about that. So I forgot that and it was just next to me. So I'm adding some to make some shiny uh, areas here and there. This is all clear. You can use it on top of any color. Um, good tip is to have more matte colors and then some color less gloss on top of it. I will try it again. So it will be shiny and beautiful. Okay, it might be dry enough. Yes, so um, that was great idea, Chanel, of uh, making a car of these backgrounds we had from leftover colors. Uh, also, you probably don't see it now, but here's some glitter. <laughs> Just tiny pieces, but some glitter, and it's a nice detail. Anyway, so now we should do some real paint, painting, paint like an artist. Yes, I'm a wannabe artist. Uh, I have four paints. Oops, that was my blue bottle, don't mind. Um, Four colors, uh, all from Verdin Arts. These are metallic paints, acrylic paints. Uh, mm, 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 quite a deep color when you see it here, but it's a little transparent, so it makes a beautiful result. What's the word? Mm. I should have a dictionary next to me, <laughs> or maybe I should next time ask Riikka to come here so she could talk and I could do. How clever would that be? Okay, um, I could either put some paints on this palette uh, plate, but these 
calls or uh, are great for this use. If you are painting a real big canvas or something, you probably take some paint and put it here, or maybe mix it up or something, or something. But I'm taking just a tiny, tiny amount of paint, so I don't need to use the palette thing. I'm open, opening these all, even though I might not use them all. Uh, this was metallic blue, then there was a white and silver glitter. Again, some shininess to my very shiny box. And then there is this old silver. This is a um, quite deep silver. Maybe that's why it's old silver. But the paint is new. Ha ha ha, good joke. Okay, then there's this turquoise paint. It's almost green, but it's really, I can show you. I take just some, and as you see, it makes very light in white surface. So, uh, just adding some turquoise or green, whatever you call it, some here and there. Um, I'm actually adding some water here to make it even more transparent. This cheese cloth takes the color perfectly. It kind of, well, it just takes just here and there. I'm first adding the uh, darker colors. Actually, I don't use that blue at all. I'm just adding the green one, teal one, turquoise one, here and there to make shadows and more interest here. I love this green. I could eat this green. So, there it is. And another brush and another paint. I'm taking the silver one, silver and white and making some little details to highlight some, some parts of the flower and parts of the chipboard, which are still a little wet, but I don't mind. Try to cope with that. These little iron uh, things from the roses are uh, perfect. Okay, Tanya, what are you wanting to have? I want to know too. Almost ready here. Okay, this painting is something I could really keep on doing like for hours, but <laughs> it, I, I actually said that for a third time again. I could do this for hours, really? I'm doing this for hours, but I meant um, with this same tro project. Okay, some shadows, spreading the colors. Here and there. Now I'm mixing these colors and all my uh, uh, this brush is green. Can't use the whiter paint anymore. So how does it look? Does it need more? Maybe not. 
Ah, ice cream. That would be nice. Okay. Now I mess this up. I need to get it clean and put it there. And I feel like I'm finishing up right now. Uh, there are a couple of tricks how to continue with the box like this. Uh, you could either uh, add some diamond or diamonds or pearls or use liquid pearls or something. But I think I will finish it with some splashes, flicks of ink of mist. Just taking the blue one and making final details. As you see, the uh, color I have isn't uh, completely dry yet. So this uh, flix spreads and it makes a nice, really delicious detail. Uh, I think once this box is completely dry, like tomorrow, uh, I will add some uh, flicks of this, 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 dark blue light mist, just to make a different kind of splashes. But it will be so wet, even though I would use the heat gun, gun that I will not do that. Okay. So here it is. It took 48 minutes to do that. Splatters are fun. Yes, Chanel, that is so very true. Uh, now I'm turning the camera again. Da -da 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 -da, my sweaty face. Hello! Again. I'm blushing here. Anyway, uh, thank you for coming in today. Um, I hope you had a great time. Uh, next week we will have Rika here. And the next of that will be maybe Karen. I hope so. She's amazing. As is Rika. And thank you both girls for having me over again. And I will be here once again in August doing a scrapbook layout. A different kind of scrapbook layout than I did. Uh, last time we will use more um, splashes and inks and more messiness. Well, anyway, thank you for coming in and I'm uh, turning now this recording down and we'll chat you with... We'll chat you later. Okay, thank you for coming in and have a good night.